G'day, g'day. It's Reverend Jamie here, just my voice. I'm really glad to be giving you a little tutorial on how to use a new tool to create one of a kind, unique AI generated artworks online. So this is using a very clever AI website called Padlet. Uh, Padlet has been in use in our spaces behind the scenes for a little while now, so we've had enough time to truly test it out. And it's great that we can now be opening it up to use as a community and especially for our servers to perhaps enjoy making use of as they prepare different um, resources and tools for the community uh, to be set free by this resource to basically generate artworks just with the touch of a few buttons and some keywords. So uh, this unique link that you see at the top of the screen, I'll make sure that that is provided to those who might like to use this. Um, using that link, you will arrive on this page that you see here and you can see our most recent artworks that have been generated um, for use on the website or as sermon tiles on the YouTube or in um, you, uh, Zoom backgrounds. So. Yeah, there's lots already here. Don't be overwhelmed when you first arrived, um, but this is a, a live page. So if somebody else is working on this at the same time as you, you might see one pop up as well, which is kind of um, fun too. So uh, what do you need to do to begin? Firstly, we need to tell AI that we'd like to generate a new artwork. So we're going to use the green plus button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. I will click on that and it will bring up this little publish box. Now, AI can search for images that already exist on the internet, but what we want to do is create an image that AI will put together from many different places, uh, making it into its own thing. Uh, the reason that we do this is that there's no issues with copyright because basically, uh, through this tool, uh, you're becoming the artist that's making this yourself. So what we do for that is we choose more options, this little pink button here, a new box will pop up and we will tell the AI, I can't draw. So AI will draw for us. We now are invited to write what you want to draw. So this could be a whole bunch of different words that you just pop in there with commas in between and AI will do its best with that. It could be a full sentence. You could grab scripture. You could just make anything up as you go along, whatever you fancy. So here I'm going to ask AI to draw for me a, a flock of birds flying in the sunset sky, a very, col oops, very colorful wings. All right, now I will press submit or you can also uh, click enter on your keyboard and AI is working on it. It'll take a little moment because it has to have a think, but in just a minute, we should have four options pop up for us to choose from. Here we go. Oh, look at that one. That's fantastic. So you can see um, some might look more like photography, others a little bit like watercolors, some like acrylic painting. It is really varied what you're going to end up with on the screen. Um, one thing we do need to be careful of when using AI is see the limitations of AI. So here we can see that there is a, a sun here, but it isn't a full circle. Now, if that doesn't bother you, that's fine. You could choose that image. Um, but if you're looking for something that is a bit more realistic, then you just got to have an extra little look. Um, so in order to have an extra little look, you can select one of these four options. So I'm going to go with this bottom left hand one that will then create this as a post. There we go. So we can see a little bit bigger there already, but I'm going to say um, sunset birds is what I'm going to label this one. There we go. And when I click publish, this will then appear on our artboard. And if I then click into that, it will bring it up nice and big and then I can have a proper look at the image and see if I'm happy with it. Um, I think it's lovely and abstract. Going for abstract is good. It inspires people's imaginations and gets their attention, particularly if it's very colorful. So I'm going to I'm going to settle with this one. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to hop out of there so that I come back to the board 
and I'm then going to choose the three buttons at the top right hand tile of my image and it will bring up all these options. I can then select this button here, download attachment, and that will do the wonderful work of putting that into my downloads folder on my computer. From there, I can upload it to a PowerPoint presentation or to Zoom to be a digital background or even to our Holy Hermits online website. I can do whatever I want with this image because AI has helped me to generate this image and it's a unique image just for us. So it might take a couple of goes. You might uh, really like what comes up or you might want to have another, another whirl at it. Um, so I'm going to go in and have another turn. So this time, let's try something a little bit more abstract. So let's say we're preparing this for one of our Holy Hermits Online events. So I'm going to put in prayer. I'm going to put in Bible. I'm going to put in animals. I'm going to put in um, happy. I'm going to put in colorful. I'm going to put in nature. I'm going to put in flowers. And maybe I'll put in light. All right, let's see what AI comes up with, with all those words that we just threw in there. Here we go. Oh, look at that. We've got quite a few interesting images there. Um, AI does often like to mix animals together. So it looks like we have a bit of a deer rabbit there. <laughs> Um, these ones are pretty good. So we've got baby lamb, uh, a fox who has maybe one too many legs in that image, and a baby cow. Um, then we've got this lady who's obviously really enjoying her Bible study alongside a dog and a rabbit in a field, which is quite beautiful. And then we have this lady praying. Well, out of these, I think I really like this one that says prayer to me. So I'm going to pick that one and I'll just title that one prayer publish and I'm going to download attachment and there we go who knows what we will use that one for but it might uh, appear on the prayer group page or something like that soon um, anyway that's probably enough from me talking you through this process I do hope that you have a lot of fun with this certainly you can lose a lot of time here um, but also it does work quite swiftly so if you are thinking you'd like to be creative and, and use some images that you create yourself um, yeah, Padlet might be the thing for you. So, um, yeah, happy Padleting.